guys, it's your boy Jackie, and I'm back with another video. And today, if y'all can ask you for the title of the video, I'm here with a What's It Like Being a Small YouTuber? So, basically, if y'all are new to my channel, hi, I'm Jackie, what's up? And yeah, I have at this moment, I would probably say 800 something subscribers right now. So, I would say I consider myself a very small channel. So, what I consider a small channel is probably like under 100k, maybe even less, maybe under like 50k. Like, you know, there, there's a lot of competition not competition but there's a lot of other small youtubers out there like me who are in the same shoes where we've been doing this for a while and we haven't been seeing any progress or we just haven't been seeing any growth but basically in today's video i'm just going to talk about a whole bunch of different stuff about just like what's it like being a small youtuber and like how i've gotten to this point so basically if y'all did not know i started doing youtube probably when i was in eighth grade so that's I would say maybe six years ago so i've been doing it for the past six years but the thing is that i started on a different channel so i've been doing it for the past six years but it hasn't always been on this channel i had a channel before um it was called i'm yellow gaming and yeah those videos are all like privately now most of them um but like yeah those that channel yeah that was something different there's a lot of cringy stuff on that but yeah um that was my first channel i started in eighth grade and yeah that 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 channel has I, I stopped that <laughs> so I would say probably around junior year of high school that's when I made this channel the Jackie Wonger's channel um, that's when I tried to be more consistent that's when I quit football actually to try to focus more on YouTube and that didn't really work because I don't know I just my mindset I, I, I just wanted to make money I, I started working at the time I just wanted to make money and but that at that time of junior year, that's when I really wanted to pursue youtube that's when like i was like I, I feel like i was put on this earth to entertain i i like to entertain people and that's what i was trying to pursue and going into college that's what i was trying to do i was trying to pursue into media entertainment and with that being said college didn't work out clearly because i'm here taking a gap year but who knows we don't know what the future holds but also throughout the whole time of me doing my youtube videos and channels and all that stuff i was dealing with a lot of mental health that i i overlooked like i'm gonna say this right here don't overlook mental health that's that's very important like, that's all i gotta say and with that being said i was really never consistent until around maybe a couple months ago i'm be honest so the end of 2020 and the beginning of 2021 this is the first time in my like youtube career where i've been consistently uploading every single friday and i'm gonna stay that way i've been uploading every friday for the past i would honestly say probably six months maybe probably less than six months but around that time and i've been killing i am like finally at that point where like, i feel like i'm uploading videos that i feel like i'm happy with where i'm putting in a lot of efforts into my videos and i feel like like it sees in like the videos it sees in the thumbnails like if y'all go through my channel um and if y'all go through my channel I, I can show y'all a quick uh screen recording but here it is you can go through my old thumbnails and go up to my newer thumbnails and you can just see that like the thumbnails itself has been a lot like it's just improved overall if, everything has improved my thumbnails have improved i feel like the video quality and all that stuff i feel like from where i started to where i'm at now i feel like everything has improved but with that being said looking at my numbers like looking at how many subscribers i have looking at how many views i get like i'm keeping the book yes i have 800 subscribers but if i'm being completely honest if i'm lucky a video will get to 100 views if i'm lucky consistently i would probably say i i get like 50 views per video 30 to 50. um that's that's a bad ratio i have 800 something subscribers but then i only get so many values i get barely 100 barely 50 even and that's one thing i would say i need to do better is not worry about the numbers like i'm doing something i love and hopefully at the end of the day it could take me to where i want to get like i feel like i'm not the only one in the shoes because there's just so many competition like there's just so many other people that are probably in my same shoes and with that being said i want i want to say something at the end of this video but about the other similar content creators that are in my area or in the same situation. Stay tuned because I want to talk about that. But just going back to what I was saying, I just feel like there's just so much competition and it's just hard for my name to get out there. And I don't know, I, I'm doing everything I can. I feel like I am doing everything I can. Like I, 
I am putting 110 efforts back into my YouTube channel and I hope it shows. I, I feel like, I hope my friends at least see it, the people that have been supporting me. But yeah, lately, these past couple of videos, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I've been slacking. I feel like the content I've been making, it, 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 like from the start of 2021, it was amazing and it, it just slowly declined. I'm trying to get back on that grind. So like, so, so with that being said, Hopefully in the upcoming months of April, I, I, I'm gonna have some bangers filled. I'm, I'm going to do better. I want to do better. Like, this is what I want to do. I want to be able to quit my job right now um, and focus on YouTube full time. You know, like that's what I want to do. I, I feel I like I just love to entertain people. I like to spread happiness. I like to make people laugh and smile. That's just the way I was raised. That's just the, my personality. And like, I'm be honest. Like, I don't know if I can go back to school. But if I have to, I gotta do what I gotta do. But I'm gonna keep grinding this out. I told myself that I'm going to give myself a couple of years of this. And if, I'm, if I don't have six figures, or if I if it's my YouTube channel is not growing, I have to, I'm gonna do what I gotta do. If y'all still watching the video, let me know down below if there's any other small YouTubers out there and who watching this who are in the same situation as me. And with that being said, I want to bring this point up. I'm not here to try to do sub for sub. Um, I don't know if it's just me, but I've seen a lot of YouTubers coming together and creating group channels and stuff like that. That that just seems so fun to me. That's something I've always wanted to do. But I'm gonna be honest, I don't have that many friends. And like I said, I'm not here to do sub for sub. So if you're here for that, I'm not with that. I'm not here to do that sub for sub type of thing. That that that's whack. I'm here to meet genuine people and other content creators in my ears that are actually serious about this, about YouTube and wanting to make videos with me. I feel like that's just, I, that just seems fun. I just want to make content with other people who are as passionate as me and who are just like goofy, weird like me. And I just feel like that would be fun, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying make a group channel, but I'm saying if we come together and I, I help you with your channel, like I, I pop up in your videos, you pop up in my videos type of thing. Like I feel like that would be fun and we get like a little small group going on where we help each other. Like I just feel like that would be a fun, like a small little YouTube group. That would be so fun. So with that being said, if there's any small YouTubers in the Georgia area that are watching this and that want to collab with me, hit me up please bro. I just want, I feel like that would be fun. And I'm telling you, I, I feel like I'm a genuine person. I try to, I just be me. I just be me. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing. That's my that's my advice for YouTube too. Just be you. Don't change up for no one. So that's just me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay true to me. I'm like, you know, if you don't like me, you don't like me. If you like me, you like me. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, if there's any other YouTubers I want to collab, hit me up because I just feel like that'd be fun. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say is that, bro. I love YouTube, bro. YouTube is such an amazing platform, app, or whatever. I, I like growing up i used to just watch youtube i used to fall asleep with youtube like not on the watch tv like the only thing i would watch on tv is football but other than that i watch everything on youtube i watch clips from videos i watch other youtubers i just watch everything i just love youtube i feel like youtube is just amazing and you know i, I love that i'm able to just be me and be creative and do whatever i want on youtube i feel like that's one thing that like made me get into like entertainment and like filmmaking and stuff like that where like youtube just i i grew up watching all these youtubers that got to just be creative and just film and do whatever they wanted and it took them to where they wanted to be and that's just the mindset i had like growing up i wanted to be like them i wanted to be just like them and meet them and all that stuff that, that was me as a kid and hopefully i will be able to achieve that like i feel like on the path like I know for example, I used to watch David Perry. I don't know if y'all know who he is, but he was one of my favorite YouTubers growing up. And like he I watched when he hit a million subscribers. He said that it took him years, like years, to get to where he's at. So hopefully that's just the same story for me. I'm gonna keep grinding it, keep giving it a mile, and hopefully I can get to my end goal. And like once I get to my end goal, I'm not just gonna stop there. I just ha I have big dreams. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like I've said this before. I feel like some people have called me a big dreamer, but like, I, like they they see that I'm not doing nothing to try to get to my dreams. No, I'm trying to get to my dreams. I'm doing everything I can to get to my dreams. But that's all I have. That's like, but that's just all I have to. Say. But I feel like that's all I gotta say for like for that. Stay tuned because I got big plans. You know what I'm saying? I got big plans. I'm a hardworking dude. You know what I'm saying? So we out here grinding. You know what I'm saying? Join along. Come along and join this grind. 
for there's any other small YouTubers in this Georgia area, please hit me up. Let's collab. I'm down. And let me know down below if y'all want to see any other types of videos. You know what I mean? It could be from anything. You know what I'm saying. I love making content for y'all, and also stay tuned to my channel because. I'm telling you, I, I, my content's all over the place. I almost said one of my biggest downfalls is that I had, I create content from like so many different varieties. It would go from flag football to a challenge to a vlog to a weight loss type of thing. I just do whatever, and that's that's probably my bad. But that's what I that's what I miss about the old YouTube. That's you used to be able to do all that stuff back in the day, where you just get to put a camera, do whatever you want, film anything you want, and. Now it's just like you need to stick to like pranks, challenges, public interviews. I'm just like, no, I, I like to do different things. I like to be creative. But just stay tuned because I feel like I am on the grind and I feel like my production, my quality, all that stuff had just been all, all just been getting better. And I appreciate every single one of y'all who stay consistently watching my videos. I love all y'all. I appreciate y'all. I love all 800 subscribers. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I love y'all. But with all that being said, I feel like I got everything off my chest that I felt like it needed to be said and like I said bro, please bro, if there's any other small YouTubers in the Georgia area please hit me up I would love to collab but with that being said I hope you enjoyed this little quick video subscribe shit I'm out